Okay, this is part three of the clipping path alignment exercise, and we are about to make some new pages and some master pages. So we're going to go to the pages panel. We are going to click on the options arrow, also called the panel menu, and new master, and base it on none and say OK. So we now have this B Master and we're going to do some layout on this B Master. So on the menu, Layout, Margins and Columns, we're going to set two columns. Press OK. Choose the Type tool and set the font to T, W, Condensed extra bold, size 30, enter. Create a text frame and type alignment. Now I'm just going to look on my next page and have a quick peek. So I'm right about here. Type alignment and place the frame at the top left corner of the page. I have it. Fit the frame to content. Done. Deselect the text frame. Click off. Choose the pen tool. Pen tool. Draw a rule under the text frame. And we're going right across here. So we will click once here and then hold the shift key and even if I click way down here it forces a horizontal line and at this point make it four points stroke color to black I think it is but yeah it is and Y location of this is going to be one inch, so one, enter. And now we're going to Alt Shift Drag to duplicate this stroke. So of course, if I start dragging it, if I press my Alt, it means I'm getting a duplicate. You can see the double cursor. Shift is going to mean that it's going to constrain it just below and I can let go and a location of 10 inches so come up here on the Y 10 enter hey I must let go of shift this is not right so I'm going to hold shift now and just pull it over to correct that between the bottom stroke and bottom margin create a text frame okay there we, we go, text frame, and type page, page, insert an M space, and then insert, okay, let's do that first, type, insert an M space, then insert an auto page number, insert, I'm going to do the current page number, which I believe is the same thing. And next step, press to Shift Enter to add a soft return. Shift Enter and type your name. You cannot see this because this is overset. So we did it in a funny order here, but I'm going to select that. Make that 12. Now I can see that. And I'll pull this down a little bit until I can see my name. There it is. And that is going to be 12. OK, Enter. Ah! I had to undo that. Okay, and now this text frame is supposed to be uh, 
just, I'm actually going to fit it to content. And I'm just looking at the example. And so I'm going to move it up a little bit. OK. Now, create horizontal guide. So pull it out. Select on the Y. 1.125, Enter. There it is there. Click off that. Drag another one. Click on here. 9.875, Enter. That should be down here at the bottom. And it is. Drag your B Master onto pages 2 and 3. So over to pages. B Master for that guy and that guy. And then if we just take a quick peek here, if we come out here, we've got page 1, page 2, and page 3. Well, that's a big space, but let's keep going. All right, on pages 2 and 3, I'd like text placed into the two columns. I'm going to just control minus here, and I like to just get the bigger picture when I'm doing this. Okay, double click on pages 2 to make it active, page 2, and control minus again. And thread the text. Oh yes, of course, we have this text back from here, so we'll go get it. Now, if I press Shift, it will auto flow, but it's going to go down over this line, and then it's going to go up past here. So this is one time that I might just do what they say, and this is where we want it there. And then we want to continue. So I'll go get it. This time I'm going to press Alt, because if you remember, Alt is sort of semi-automatic. So I can put the next one on, and I'm still have a, I still have my loaded cursor. So Alt, I don't see my white lines, but I can go back and fix those if I need to. That I just accidentally pressed my right mouse button there. Okay, so right now I still have more text, and so I need to. I remember that this is supposed to be 12, and that's probably what we're about to do. Select all the text starting on page 2. All right, we'll start on page two. Missed it. Oh, I might have to zoom in, but I don't want to because I like to see. There we go. Come up here. 12, enter. And then we have more to do here. Down here. 12, enter. Oh, shoot, it's supposed to be 13. All right, so I will just start this over. I missed a little word there. OK, size 13, enter. All right, that looks better. Looks like it's supposed to look. Select the text from page 2 onward once again. Got it all. Set space between paragraphs to 6 to 5. So I'm going to go to space after point 0625, enter. Remove any extras. I don't believe that we have.
have any extras, but I will come here. Now, funny thing is, I just noticed that I have a little bit of this. I'm not sure why. That was supposed to be 18 everything on this page. And so therefore, we got a little bit of extra formatting here. 12, 13, 13, 13, 13. And look, even got one word left out. Interesting to see if you have this problem. I think it just keeps reformatting. Ah, you know, I might have to just force a break here with a forced line break. Although that sure looks empty there. I'm going to undo that. See if I can just get this last word to 18. I did, and this one's fine now. So a lot of playing around. I'm going to just fix up my good. That one's good. I don't appear to have any, oh, maybe here, a little bit of extra stuff there. And, okay. Looks good. So, at this point, I think we are set. We're supposed to add a glyph to the end of the article. But something's not right here because we should be wrapping around a little bit. And yet, I see that this is 13. Look at my spaces. Well, I'll put my glyph here. Uh, type glyphs. Times New Roman. We were down at like 382 the last time. It was this one. Double click, and it goes. You know, the last time I did this, it came up with a little bit extra here. And so if you have a little bit of extra there, that would be OK. It probably depends on how exactly you did your wrap there. So, and the last thing you do is place that file. I'm running out of time, so I may uh, I may run out here, and that's okay. You know what to do. So, Control D, go and get two or four Boston images a line example line example and pull it into the white space on column three. Okay, and just about out of time. I'm going to move that down a little bit because I can see right here. Now we have a little orphan here, but there we go. Pull that back up and that's that.